NWATCH, simply put, is looking at a plant available nitrogen in about four different phases. Inventory, tracking, verification, and application. And we inventory what's there through a detailed sample analysis or detailed testing of the soil profile. We track it on a periodic basis, two, four weeks, whatever we can do to get out there. Then we verify it before the last application, making sure that something there, and then in some way we interpret that information and we make our final nitrogen application. And there's a lot of work that needs to be done to each one of those steps, but it, it, the, the process makes a lot of sense. And now you started using this. I st we started this last year. We started in April. I have two sites in Illinois where we uh, started pulling samples the first of April. And the great thing about that one is coming out of, of uh, last winter, we had a very warm March. We all anticipated nitrogen that was applied in the fall of 2011 was already converted to nitrates. In fact, uh, uh, one of the professors in Illinois stood in front of a group saying, well, all that's all converted. There's a good chance it's going to show up in our drinking water in April and, and May through surface water. And I had one of the fellows working with us in the audience, and he said, well, I'm sorry to say that I, I would have believed that too, but our data doesn't say that. And uh, what he showed was the nitrogen that was applied in the fall with NSERV, 60% of it was still in the ammonium form. Now, the, the warm, fuzzy feeling I got out of that is we all thought it was nitrate, and 60% was not. So that tells me there's quite a bit we still have to learn about plant-available nitrogen. And so when people are trying to to mandate or legislate or regulate farmers into practices, they don't know whether or not there'll be an impact because I don't think we really have the answers. So the best way to approach this is not by regulation, legislation, or, or mandates, it's to have incentives. What better incentive than to help a farmer make more money, better utilization of the input, and minimize environmental impact. I call it mom, really. Maximize yield, optimize utilization, and minimize environmental impact. Now, as far as the name NWATCH, you said, now what, you've given the name, let well, someone else use it. you know what, I, I don't want the name to, to um, I don't want the name to be hurt uh, by okay. Earl Mark saying we gave it away, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you're all kind to us on that, but we, we created the name NWATCH. And, and I, I, I loved the phrase, and I loved it so much, I thought, well, you know, it would be great if everybody used NWATCH. But, but why should Growmark only use NWATCH? What are they going to call their program? It's the same program. So we decided to give the rights away to try to license it to Illinois Council for Best Management Practices. Gene Payne has filed the papers to license or trademark or the, uh, the symbol as well as the phrase and she's in the process of doing that right now. So, again, please, you know, I, I, I want everybody to use it. I don't want to think Girl Mark's trying to get press on this, okay? <laughs> uh, everything we're doing is for the good of, of the Midwest. Believe that one or not. We're deep, deeply embedded in this whole program, okay? And it's going to work. And you're excited about it like you're always Can you tell? Yeah, I can. <laughs> can you tell? <laughs>